gotta be big back. The shark attack. We gotta be back. The shark attack. We gotta be big back. The shark attack. We gotta be back. The shark attack. We gotta be big back. The shark attack. In Missouri, there are more payday loan shops than Walmart's, McDonald's, and Starbucks stores combined. And invariably, these proliferate in areas of town where the residents are the most vulnerable and predominantly minority. That's no accident. Research suggests that payday lending practices drain $26 million a year from the Kansas City economy. That's money that our constituents could be spending on food and clothing, transportation, rent, school supplies, and other things that make their lives better. It's money they could donate to churches or other charities if they so decided. Instead, they get caught up in this inescapable debt trap because of the obscene interest rates that our state legislature refuses to address. A credit card lender can legally charge a high annual percentage rate of 36%, and that's kind of high. The average payday loan in this state has been allowed and legislatively sanctioned to rise to 455%, and that's astronomically obscene. I've had an opportunity, I've had to, to use these types of loans in the past. Sometimes these loans is all that stood between me and, and paying a bill or visiting my family. Uh, however, I do want to mention my concern about hundreds if not thousands of pages worth of bureaucratic rules being written that is directly going to affect the pros and cons of this market. Um, and when a bureaucracy can write, adjudicate, and execute the law, you've essentially robbed the people of the representative government. For 15 years, we have confronted payday lending. We have seen how usury rates in Missouri protected families in the 90s at 28% APR. And when overturned, now the profiteering that's happening within our region is spiraling them into debt. Missouri's own President Harry Truman notably said, Every segment of our population and every individual has a right to expect from our government a fair deal. Our proposed rule is designed to ensure more fairness with these financial products by making systemic changes to steer borrowers away from ruinous debt traps and restore to them a larger measure of control over their affairs. Ultimately, our objective is to allow for responsible lending while making sure that consumers do not fall into situations that undermine their financial lives.